Can I bother you? I'll be all right this afternoon. You should have seen the doctor. My father played the flute, you know. Professionally. But none of us was musical. Have you read your letter yet? No. It's from your husband. Who else? He's sorry, Claire. He wants you to forgive him. When he writes, you know, he weeps. The ink runs. It's pathetic. I should have divorced him years ago. Instead, I tried to prop him up. And here I am. Say if you want anything. Read it and tell me what you think. It bothered me a little. I wouldn't say that Remand Wing was our showpiece, but um, a lot of what she says is true. Yeah, it could improve, though, couldn't it? And if the magistrates start to give more bail. They've had a recommendation. Doesn't mean to say that they'll act on it. These things take time to filter through. Would you like me to draft a reply to this? I have met her before. She does seem to be talking about welfare. Yes, yeah, she's very critical. Oh, we can get hopelessly behind. There's just so much of it. I'd rather like trying to run uphill. Mm. Oh, by the way, I meant to ask. I'm having some people in on Saturday week. Charles and Beth are coming. A couple I think you might like to meet. He works in the children's department and she's involved in battered wives. <laughs> Sounds a bit much, but they're nice. <laughs> Well, I, I'm, I'm not sure. We'll feed you. Rather well, I hope. I, I was thinking of going to Brighton. My mother's in a nursing home and I half promised. Yes, well, let me know. There's plenty of time. I um, mentioned it to Peter Mays. He might just honour us, he says. Is he into dinner parties? <laughs> He's very much into the food and drink. Yes. All right. Well, I suppose it depends. I went to one the other week. Everyone talked about freezers and then what Adam did at school and are you in the women's movement if you're single they think you must be I don't see why that follows no well anyway I, I'd love to but I do think it's doubtful well it's not in your contract let me have a copy of your letter will you tell like that. You want to see the doctor? I'm not contagious. I can't look after you. I'd like to, but I can't. I should be in the hospital. I think so. You could ask to work there. They know you've been a nurse. They know I killed a patient. Well, you wouldn't handle any drugs? No, I couldn't work there. I, I don't want to. you want me to go away? Maybe they'll let me come and see you. Do you want me to go away? I want you to get better. I'm frightened, you see. I'm frightened I'll go away, and when I come back, you... Oh, but that's silly, isn't it? I don't think you should think about me. You should just think of getting well. I keep remembering that boy. You know, the one I told you about. I didn't work in those days, and he used to come around when Ralph was out. Three times a week. Then once. Then not at all. It feels like that. It does. I keep feeling there's something wrong. Well, it's because you're ill. Everything seems wretched then. Yes, it does. Will you try and eat something? I can't. My throat. Well, there might be soup. I see. Shall I? You 
You should ask the doctor to see her. Claire, she has a temperature quite high, I think. It must be some kind of infection. I'll go and see her. And phone the hospital. Yes, when I've seen her for myself. Cheer up. The doctor to see you, dear. Thank you, sister. You'll get that stuff on the sheets again. You got a laundry in yet? Oh, how are you? Hi. But you weren't too good this morning. N not really. <laughs> not really good and not really bad. She's been getting hot and cold. Thank you, Mrs. Flower. Your turn later. Oh, no, no, no. Well, Sharon. Feeling tense, were you? I, I don't know. Funny. She got a letter. She had one of her dizzy doos and then she cried her eyes out. Hours on in, she cried. Do you like to tell me about it? Stop. What? Oh, what about the letter? Why did it upset you? I can't remember. You can't remember. You don't remember. Or you don't want to tell me. All right then, Sharon, okay. I want you dressed tomorrow, get your glad rags on. You can try occupational therapy. If you don't like it, we can leave it out. But I want you to try. That's right, married at 17. One William Goth, apprentice plumber. It's only lasted 18 months. He was much older than she was. Now, he beat her up. She won't say much about it. Oh, yes, an ESN school for a while. She's just about literate. Mm. Well, I've been in touch with her GP. Panic attacks, depressions. He fed her a lot of pills. I didn't find out much. I wish you wouldn't do that. What? Not pass things on. It's typical. Of what? Of you, of the whole medical profession. It's all so closed. You know it is. But I did see any harm. I do. If you have information and we don't, you must see our files are incomplete. We're at a disadvantage. We are not in competition. And we are not amateurs, you know. I should be trusted. Yes, I know. And I am not withholding from you. I am giving him the information now. Well, come on, get your pen out. You can scribble away to your heart's content. Let's have a paper mountain. If you want to look at Sharon's file, I'd rather you did it here, please. Put it back in its proper place. Ready? Yes, yeah, she's ready. Come on, then, Mother. myself, not of course in their bracket. I know how these things happen. You find yourself in debt. One thing leads to another. A lot of people cheat. They call it fraud, but it's cheating. If you Everybody excuse does. me. If you mean, am I busy? Yes, I am. In the heat of our altercation, I omitted to say what I had come to say. That is, will you talk to Sharon Goff? I'm thinking of putting her on a wing, but I feel she may be going through a sticky patch at the moment, so maybe I should wait. I'd like your opinion. Is it urgent? Oh, no, when you go. I'll make a note of it. On my paper mountain. <laughs> You're going to this shindig? Faye is going on about a dinner party. Oh, no, no, I don't think so. I have to go to Brighton. Oh. 
Sounds interesting. Tell me more. To see my mother. Oh, what a shame. Maybe, I think to myself, maybe I have stumbled across a little chink in the armour of self-sufficiency. Some breezy, vulgar goings-on in Brighton. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know, really. I just like the sound of my own voice. I get worse when I'm tired. I'm tired, too. I've got to work. That's better. You stopped sounding prim. Prim? Yes, Miss Clark, you must not sound prim. It does you an injustice. Plenty of fluids. Wash away the poisons. That's what my father always said. When I was ill. And sleep. I want to do nothing but sleep. There was no fussing around her last night. She was bad then. I know. She had a fever. What's the matter with her? She talked quietly. She's asleep. What's her name? Claire. Her name is Claire. And you? Sure. I'm G. I, I couldn't ask this morning. They shoved me out. OT, occupational therapy. Do you like it? Well, I did actually. Yeah, I, I did weaving. You're sort of thinking with your hands. Gives your mind to rest, know what I mean? Have you been in the hospital wing long? Ever since I've been here. Well, maybe that's because you're young. I'm 21, that's ancient. Well, you don't look it. And anyway, I'm 34, so what does that make me? I couldn't stand it getting old. Going all dry and wrinkled. I hate ugly old people. If I was really ugly, I don't know what I'd do. Does it matter what people look like? My fellow, he's so handsome. I could die, I could just go on looking at him. He goes to work at night, you see. He wears a white, white jacket. And outside, it's all black. And then his hair's jet black, because he's part Greek. His proper name, that's Nikos. People call him Nick, but I don't. I like Nikos. But he's not working now. He's, he's, he's done his backing. He wrote and told me yesterday he'd done his backing. So, so someone's got to be there to look after him and... Your bloody friend waking me up like that, I bet a lot of wreck today. I'm sorry she woke you up. Bloody great bag is under me eyes. No, that's not true. I've got to wash my hair, the ends are splitting. You've got nice hair. Bish. Here's Sulky Sue. What shall we do? Turn her face to the wall till she comes too. My name's Sharon. No, thank you. I don't know what I'm doing here. Not as if I had nothing else to do. She said about five minutes. We well, must have been here ten at least. Don't you ever unwind? Forever rushing gallantly about a file clasped to your bosom, being earnest all over the place. Well, what have I done to warrant that? I offered you a biscuit. You refused. I didn't want a biscuit. I can't believe that you're watching your weight. It's too frivolous, not your style. I simply don't feel hungry. And you don't believe in nibbling between meals? Well, is that so strange? It's Puritan, and it's earnest. Stop it, Peter. Leave her alone. You hear? She calls me Peter. When do you ever call me Peter? The answer is you don't. You discriminate against me. Oh, stop showing off. It's childish. Oh. I don't find it amusing. Others may. I don't. Well, there's a put-down for you. Snakes and ladders. Start again. Go back to the bottom of the class. You can't turn everything into a joke. No, but I can try. Uh, 
It's you. Hello. Oh. Bet you're surprised to see me here. I saw you come last night. Did you? Oh. Eat with me if you want. It doesn't matter. No. It's big though, isn't it? It's big here. You'll soon get used to it. And off, get around, there's quite a lot of shoving. I saw you arrive last night. You look frightened. They're locking up. In hospital, now here. I've never been locked up before. Not in a box. It's like a box. Oh, well, you're not in on your own. No, there's a lady. Your friend Claire, she didn't half look awful. She won't be out for ages yet. You must think I'm all right, though, to let me out. I didn't think I'd know somebody, though. Well, you were wrong. It's all right if I'm hungry. It's a good sign if I'm hungry. And you don't mind the food? It's nice. Well, we brought up on a farm. You laid eggs, fresh vegetables. Maybe I was spoiled. Farm? Hmm. In the country? Yes, that's where farms are. Oh, well, I've never been to the country. Well, not a country proper. Of course, I've been to parks. Well, one day I'll tell you about it. N Nikos, my, my fella, oh, he's been to the country. In, in Greece, they have, uh, you know what, these olive trees. They're old, older than 100 years. Older than 200 years. Older than people, anyway. I know. I've seen a photograph. They're gnarled, you know. They're ugly. The thing is, he's, he's done his backing, so he can't get about. So someone's got to do for him and cook and stuff. Are you worried about it? I can't eat anymore. Does it matter? People are often ill after a crisis, any great change. Divorce. Loss of a relative, even moving home. Oh, well, I've certainly done that. And my husband will be in prison a great deal longer than me. I expect we'll get a divorce. When someone's dead to you, you do. So there you are. Death and divorce. Doctor, I'm sorry to interrupt, but Miss Nelson's not too good again. You are one of my convalescents, and I forbid my convalescents gloomy thoughts. You wouldn't care to pack me off to the seaside. I'll see you tomorrow. He likes you. I'd rather talk to you than me. I can't talk much. It tires me. Where's your friend? She's not been in for a bit. I expect Mary they stopped her coming. She knows it tires me to talk, that's why. I'm sure it is. He was first in the house as he stood there in the moonlight. Good. He who had been asleep so long was su suddenly awake and he made his Compact, and he made his compact with the house. It, it means, well, sort of like shaking hands. I agree to trust you, you agree to trust me. And this boy does it with the house. But mostly you do it with people. One person makes a compact with another. Well, I don't know. I think so. Dance with you if you like. No, it's all right. Like that, I mean. Do 
she said you were. Like you, Mummy. Said you were. Keeps telling me to watch you. Well, then you'd better add. Doesn't matter, does it? Well, yes, I think it does matter. It matters quite a lot. I will, though. If you want me to. Long now, don't you think? It's very nice. She'll soon be as good as the vicar's wife. She does nice. embroidery. Are you angry with me? No, not with you. I want to tell you something. I'm tired now. I want to tell you something. Hi. I'm listening. Don't, don't look at me. Marnikos goes with fellas. He's got one with him in the flat. He's there and he won't go away. He's horrible. He's ugly. So if he can, I can as well. I will and I will show him. Sharon, you can't do things to spite people just to get even with them. It's because I've got a scar. I've got a scar here on my arm. He doesn't like to see it. Come on, Sharon, in your room. Yes. Let's lock up, Sharon. Come on now. What's upset you? I'll take her, shall I? Come on, I want to stay with you. Come on. Sharon Goff's found a protector. Well, isn't that a good thing? The woman is Jean Trevelyan. Oh, that rings a bell. The nurse? The nurse a rich old lady. She fell in love with the younger sister. Together they bumped the old ear off. And not a mercy killing? No. They were after the money. Mercenary. They fell out afterwards, Jean and the girlfriend. Jean came here, the friends in another prison. Well, you know what Faye would say. Any affection is better than none. Do you mind? Look, Sharon has gone from one man to another. She gets battered, deserted, she still comes back for more. She doesn't learn from experience. She just gets frightened and confused. And now a lesbian affair. And just one more nightmare in a long, long line. Oh, that's far too strong. It's a relationship. And why be pessimistic? She might make something of it. She could hardly do worse than she's done with the men. You don't see my point. She never develops any resources of her own. Just clings to the nearest thing that comes along. Oh, don't we all? Oh, come on. We can't all be self-contained, nor is it right that we should be. People pair off, Miss Clark. They need to couple. Adam and Eve, Noah's Ark, the animals went in two by two. Nobody is that complete. The animals went in to procreate, male and oh, female. Oh, come on. What the hell does gender have to do with it? Sex is for comfort half the time. It's how people console themselves. Everyone's better after a good cuddle. <laughs> Who knows? Even you. Well, anyway, I... I don't think you need worry about Sharon. It's just that I'm not sure what to do. Sharon has asked to share, and I know she feels strong. And I can see that Jean is good for Sharon. Know why people lean on Jean? She's a very unneurotic sort of person. That word people use these days, together. I tell you what I think. If it is to be a lesbian involvement, they'll have that whether they share a room or not. And you do have couples sharing on your wing quite happily. Or so it always seems. Oh, no, no, you're quite right. And most of the women accept it. Well, there we are. You know my guidelines. Will it cause disruption? Will it give undue offence? But you see my difficulty. They're not sharing at the moment. If I'm seen to put them together, you would appear to condone the relationship. More than that, to foster it. In whose eyes, exactly? I mean, who minds that much? Jean used to share with Claire Roswell. Claire's in hospital at the moment, but that won't be for long. I like to think that Claire trusts me. 
She's very fond of Jean, and this would hurt her. And you? You're fond of Claire? Well, I wouldn't want to hurt her. Do you also find her attractive? Will that affect your decision? I'm not sure. I do find her attractive, yes. I wonder if it isn't something else. Sit down. Lesbian ties exist throughout the prison. Some of them lead to bickering and quarrels, even violence. Some of them are healing and worthwhile. AGs have to contend with this all the time. But it seems more of an issue to you than it does to the others. Now, this I can understand. But what you mustn't do is to back away from it. If you choose not to put them together, then that decision mustn't be taken out of fear. Fear of what the women might be saying about you. Fear of being exposed. It's with my officers, mostly. I do feel in a difficult position. One could argue it was an advantageous one. Gives you insight. You of all people ought to understand. I mean, for example, when Claire comes back, she may find them together, she may not. Either way, she'll need support, and who better to give it than you? And I think who worse than me? Well, there you are. I accept you. You don't accept yourself. I feel I can't make a full step. You've made many full steps, haven't you? And yet here you still are. One of my best AGs. See? It's not that bad. I'm spoiled. How did it happen? Burn. Yes, I can see. Did somebody do it to you? You're very thin. If you'd been brought up on a farm, you'd have great fat arms and rosy cheeks. You haven't got fat arms. farm we had three cats and their names were Pepper Pop, Sootykin and Scratch Away because of this poem my mother knew our old cat has kittens three what do you think their name should be I sat my thumb at night does it matter? No. No.
sorry I couldn't find it. I've been walking about in the rain for ages. Find it? Your flat. I wasn't aware I'd issued an invitation. Does that mean I'm debarred? I don't know when you're worse, when you're being objectionable, or when you decide to be charming. How oh, kind. You want to dry your hair? Well, I suppose I might drip in your carpet. It's not the sort you drip on, really. Very nice pad, very cool, ta. Total order. You own it, yes, you must do. I have a mortgage, yes. You've got one heck of a nerve! You spent the whole week trying to destroy me. No. Well, that's how it's appeared to me. I felt set up for you like an Aunt Sally. You've done nothing but hurl things at me for the last ten days. Well, maybe I've come to apologise. Have you? Relax. Sit down. Then why are you here? <laughs> I don't know, really. It is a bit bizarre. What shall I do with this? The bathroom's through there. You can examine it for cool and order. Look, Liz, I, um... I actually have had a bit of a conscience. As much as, I mean, well, I can't say that I've been racked with remorse, but then, on the other hand, it did a bit misfire. What did? I mean, what exactly were you getting at? Well, you said it, actually. Show off. Trying to attract your attention, I suppose. And then again, I do like the sound of my own voice. That has been mentioned as well. When have I not given you attention? Oh, professional attention, maybe. I beg your pardon. Well, I know that it is rather perverse, as courtship rituals go. I mean, birds do funny dances and flap their wings about, and I merely seem to insult you. But there you are. You are the prison welfare, after all. I can't just say, how about it? You're being very witty, and I don't believe a word. You meant those things you said to me. Well, maybe I did at the time. I was provoked. But that's enough about me. And what are you doing here anyway? You're supposed to be in Brighton. Am I? Tonight is Faye's dinner party. You said you'd be in Brighton. Oh, I changed my mind. Why aren't you being social then? Why aren't you? I thought you might have changed your mind. No, seriously. Seriously? I don't much like the role I'm expected to play, the oh-so-genial fellow. I never intended to go. Brighton was an excuse. Oh, I can't take those sort of views. Everyone's so very bright and cosy, paired off, sitting just so. There has to be a woman by a man, sort of falsely symmetrical. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm paranoid. <laughs> uh, the word spinster should be defunct. You would imagine so these days. It isn't, not for me yet. Yes, I've felt something of that sort. Soon after my divorce, people weren't sure about inviting me, where to sit me, what to say, treading on eggs. I did feel stigmatised. But it wore off. I didn't know you'd been married. Children? A couple. Do you mind? Do I mind not seeing my children grow up? Yes, very much. Do I mind not being married? No, not in the least. I'm well out of it. Oh, I did my bit to make it hell, but it was hell. Never again. The animals went in two by two, but count me out of it. Have you eaten? Hmm. I have, but there's some left. Would you like me to warm it up? I could. And yet we still go blundering about, trying to coincide with someone else. You don't have to be divorced to know that you've missed out. 
not made the most of things. Relationships. Oh, yes, there are a hell of a lot of losers about walking around with bells round their necks. Watch out, we're unlovable. Prisons are full of them, those sort of lepers. Do you want to go? Yes. The doctor says you can come back soon. He thinks you're doing very well. If you could tell Jean I'm well enough for visitors, it wouldn't tire me now. All right. I had a dream the other night. I was with her at the seaside. There were breakwaters, but they didn't go down to the sea. They ran long ways, parallel with it. I stood on a breakwater, and Jean was one away from me, not far. Sand between us. But I knew there was a rule. A rule you couldn't step on the sand. And I couldn't cross. I couldn't reach her. The wings got very crowded while it's been away. I ought to warn you, I've uh, made some changes. We've had to use your empty bed. I probably anticipated that. Someone in with Jean? Uh, for the time being, yes. Anyone I know? A new girl. And will she move out when I come back? No. It might be difficult for you at first. Claire, I don't want you to be upset. I want you to know you can come to me whenever you... I knew it in my dream. Let's see. That's better. Enough's a funny word to write. You think the GH ought to be an F. Look at fill up your writing. Just write me one more thing. For luck. Make it up. Anything you want. Silly. Dance with me then. No, not tonight. They're doing it. Doesn't matter, does it? I've made you something in weaving. It's a scarf. I haven't finished it yet. Someone soon. I think I'll have to. There are some decent people here. People with some decency. I think they ought to stamp it out. It turns my stomach. About 17, I was. I was out with my friend Joan. We were in a cafe. It was quite a smart place, you know, a coffee shop. This middle-aged woman came over to us. Funny sort of smile she had, like she pasted it on. Would we like to go back to her house for coffee? Would we like to go back with her? What I can't forget is the way she stood there like a dog. A dog begging for water. Just stood there begging like a dog. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to read my book. I was very fond of Joan. Soon after that, she had a breakdown. I took her away. The door was open. I just popped across the way. Yes, I saw you. 
Did you get home all right? After pounding a few pavements. I thought you might do that. What did you do? Had a little weep and went to bed. I was weeping for me. We always weep for me. Can I uh, do anything for you? Have a meal with me sometime. All right, sometime I will. Meanwhile, I've got some work for you, if you can spare a moment. Fine. Well, if you'll remove yourself from my chair and also my feet, your feet from my table. I shall put my feet under your table and you can sit yourself there. I expect you want a usual paper mountain. Mm. It's gone all straggly. Will you wash it for me? You shouldn't wash your hair too much. It gets rid of all the natural oils. Besides, there's nothing wrong with it. Go on. Go and get washed. This woman at the hospital, her hair was falling out. All bald. It was horrible. <laughs> Go on. gone to the washroom? Yes. I just want to know, that's all. I don't know what I've done. You haven't done anything. I just want to understand. Sharon needs me. She can't fend for herself. I have to be careful of her. Well, yes, I, I can see she has a mental age of eight. Though she's probably more advanced in bed. Claire, please don't make it worse Listen, than it is. I've written to Ralph. I told him all it's about it. It's hopeless. There's a wicked cue. Hello. Sharon, this is Claire. Your predecessor. Before me, there was Olive. Though Olive still exists, of course. She's in another prison. Olive and Jean correspond. That means Olive writes letters and Jean writes back. Well? Well, what? Does it matter? Olive matters. Yes. Jean loved Olive very much. Jean did a wicked thing for the love of Olive, but I expect you know... If I wanted to know, I'd tell her. I saw it in all the papers, and a picture of them both, funnily enough, but the one called Jean. I can't believe it, really. She had such a kind face. I felt so sorry for her. I knew how, when you love someone, you get involved. Dragged down. I'm sorry. I never told you about the picture. No. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm going now. There's no need to be frightened. Why was she crying? Well, she's been ill. Did you do a murder? Yes. You mustn't mind, Claire. It's just that she's been ill. I've been ill, too. I want to go back to the hospital. Stupid girl. I don't know the long words. Claire uses long words, yes, but I'll explain it to you. I don't want to. It's too hard. Sharon! Music. It's late, and there are people upstairs. Actually, there's probably a room. You can't possibly turn me out into the cold. Now, don't make it difficult. But you want me to stay. I think you do. Part of me does, perhaps. And part of me doesn't. Which part? Come and show me. I know it seems ridiculous no. to you. Tell me. No, it, it didn't used to matter. How, how well I knew someone, but that was years ago. I don't feel the same person. You're intellectualizing. Well, if I am, I am. Well, what the hell does it mean you don't know me well enough? Do I have to run up points? A point a month for each 20 and you score?
don't know that. There are bits of you all over the place. <laughs> well, it's a mess. A little disorder would do you good. Don't. Had a bit of an upset. She'll be all right, it's nothing much. Can't you sleep? We don't have to have an inquest. All right, then, if you must. It's just that if you're on your own for more than a while, you sort of, sort of shut up shop on a whole part of you. You get, well, areas of numbness, disuse, that's all. All right, then. I'll tell you what I'm used to. Little chits of things, carefree, not a thought in their heads. Highly disposable. Often they're young enough to be my daughter, but they are very good for my vanity, and I assure you it is painless. You didn't do much for my vanity. You made me feel rather stupid. I wish you hadn't told me that about the girls. I think it's... my shame. Don't you mean distasteful? Well, it's better than turning to drink. All Chekhov's doctors turn to drink. I did have a tie somewhere. Not that I'm teetotal. I suppose I did complain I didn't know you. You're quite right. I should have told you earlier. Might have scored a point. Might have provoked a little zeal. Missionary zeal, of course. Redemption necessary. You shouldn't do things to spite people. It doesn't make things better. That's why I write to Olive. Her sister was in pain. What I thought Olive wanted was for me to end it. The pain, that's all. I knew nothing about the money. She wanted the money for us to go away. Even so, when I knew really why, I hated it. But I still write. Although I don't forgive her. Me. Do you forgive me? They don't want me to see her. I don't think they'll let her back. Do you want me to say thank you? I think Sharon should stay in hospital. Of course, if any of you disagree, I'm prepared to reconsider it, but she's coming to the end of her sentence. I think the time should be spent quietly and as settled as possible. It's afterwards that's going to be a problem. I could start trying hostels. Yes, that's a good idea. If um, you two could work together on this. Would that be possible, Miss Clark? I think it might. Good. Well, I think that's all then, thank you. Oh, Miss Parrish, would you stay a moment? I just want to say that I'm sorry that it didn't work out. If Sharon came back, there would be nowhere for Claire to hide. Outside, she can run away, but it isn't possible when they're locked up together. It's bound to lead to stress. I think perhaps I should have foreseen that. I did, I think. Then why did you put them together? I don't regret it. After all, it's rare in here. For people to be happy.
Thank you. 